Hi there, Lisa Rana here, and welcome to another Assemble This video. Today's cards are all about this amazing watercolor background made with spray inks, and then a fun layout that can be used for any occasion just by changing out the sentiment. I'm featuring the Every Single Day stamp set by Unity Stamp Company today with that gorgeous floral image and lots of sentiments to choose from. I'm going to start by making the watercolor background. I have a large sheet of watercolor paper. This one is 11 by 14 inches, but you can easily use a smaller sheet as well. I have three spray inks in uh, a green, a teal, and orange. These will all stay in the green and orange range as long as I don't do too much mixing of the colors. I'm going to start out by spraying out the orange just in a random pattern and then follow up with a little bit of green. Again, just trying to cover the, the paper and not getting too much ink. This will spread a bit when I add the water in just a, in a minute. And then just adding a touch of this teal and just, again, spraying in a ran, random pattern at this point. So I am, I'm adding a bunch of water. It's just a spray bottle of water and just going over all that ink. I want to make sure there's no dry patches and that each of those ink splatters get a bit of water so they start to move and kind of blend on their own. So that was my first round. I dried it with a heat tool and then now I'm adding just a little bit more of that teal and some more water. Again trying to get it to move and blend. It'll blend a little bit with the layer below but not as much since I did do a dry in between. So I keep alternating, adding ink and water, making sure it all gets wet and blended in. And then using a towel, if I get too much kind of pulling up on the edges, I'll pick that up and then I'll even tap it across the paper as I go along as well. I kind of like the texture that it adds and the color. So now I'm noticing that my green's kind of taking over this page and I'm gonna stop adding ink and water at this point. I don't want to lose all that orange, so I'm just making sure all the puddles are picked up. Again, tapping that paper on there, creating some texture, and then making sure it gets completely dry. I used my heat tool to dry it out and then let it sit for probably a good 10-20 minutes just to make sure it was dry. And then I trimmed it down into these two strips of paper. I'm going to save the rest for other projects, so I just set them aside to be used later. Now I have my strips in my mini misty and I'm going to stamp the floral image on top of it. Just going to use some Versamark black ink. Again, I just really like the crispness of this ink and the way that it's going to pop against that watercolor background. And I'm just going to stamp it down, make sure I got a nice even coverage. I missed a few spots, so just going to close it and then press it down where those where that ink didn't transfer. I did that twice on both of those strips, and then now matting it on some black cardstock, just like the way it helps it pop against the the white of the card base here. And then I'm going to trim off the top just to make sure it's all even. And then I have my sentiment stamped in white on black cardstock. And I'm just going to pop that up down at the bottom of my card here. And then to finish everything off, I'm going to add a few Nouveau drops in black. I like to work in odd numbers, so I'm working in three at the top and then three at the bottom. And that gives me six, so I need one more to make it odd. And I'm just going to use the center of that flower and make a nice big Nouveau drop. So here is the finished card with that pretty watercolor background made easy with spray inks plus lots of extras for future projects. I just love how the flowers pop against those bright colors and the bit of shine from the Nouveau drops as well. I'll have all my supplies listed below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Plus if you have any questions or sweet comment post below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.